When my mind drifts away to Tuscany, I envision rolling hills with quaint villages and charming inns. Here in the Willamette Valley, I came upon a Tuscan estate bed and breakfast. And it is here I found a little slice of Italy. As I entered the B&B, I was instantly transported to a calmer, softer time. The innkeeper Aaron greeted me with chocolate, so my stay was already off to a great start. It seems like I always show up hungry, so I ordered a small charcuterie plate and relaxed on the large open porch with a bottle of Willamette Valley Pinot Noir. There are several different rooms, each uniquely decorated and of different sizes. I peeked inside the Portofino room. The elegant rich colors were reflecting the afternoon sun. I then made my way to the Tuscan suite. The large suite is adorned with gold, burgundy, and cream colors with a wrought iron queen size canopy bed. There is a sitting area, a refrigerator, and the private bath has a walk-in shower and separate large soaking tub. Just outside my door is a coffee room, available 24 hours a day. In the morning, I awoke to the scent of dark Italian roast coffee coming from the kitchen below. The aroma lured me from my big fluffy bed. I made my way downstairs where Aaron welcomed me into the dining room for a gourmet three-course breakfast. And for your first course, we have a house-baked croissant with a little mango drizzle and blackberries. And our next course is the parfait. So it's uh, layered granola, vanilla Greek yogurt, a house-made blueberry compote, and a house-made lemon curd. <laughs> And for your entree this morning, we have a baked eggs caprese. It's a layer of cherry tomatoes, mozzarella, fresh basil, two eggs, more tomatoes and mozzarella, and baked, and some toast for dipping. Yeah. Enjoy. The dining area is bright and airy, and all the guests seem to be extremely happy with this morning's selections. The inn is located just a few minutes walk from downtown McMinnville. So there are more than enough tasting rooms and restaurants to keep me very satisfied for my day in Oregon's wine country.